Fusion here, back with another reaction video. Um, so yesterday I did a reaction to the uh, John Morant and uh, Jalen Rose clip that was on Twitter. That will be linked in the description below. This is a full clip from the actual interview, which I will also link that below as well. Um, and I will also be watching it at some point, so I may give my thoughts also on that. Um, but I do want to live react to this. Um, he's talking about how John Morant did speak to the commissioner and just what that meeting was about and all that. So let's go ahead and see what they got to say here. Silver today, and he suspended you for eight games. What was that meeting like? Um, it was good. Um, pretty much, you know, an open discussion. Obviously, you know, he said things, you know, I need to, you know, be better at, but, you know, more of just, you know, showing his support towards me. And I accepted that. And, you know, I also, you know, sent my apologies, you know, to everybody, you know, the league, you know, myself, my teammates, my family for, you know, putting that negativity toward all of us with a, you know, bad decision. Tough loss at Denver. You at the spot. Shirt off. What were you thinking and feeling at that moment when you decided to go live? Pretty much just trying to be free. Use that as an escape. Use that as an escape. That makes no sense. How is you going on Instagram flashing your gun or flashing a gun, not his gun? Um, apparently, that was not his weapon. But how is that an escape? I don't understand. If you want to escape, my nigga, go on vacation. If you want to escape, then just go on a spa day. If you want to escape, then go play the damn Xbox or something. But you don't go to flash a damn weapon on Instagram. If you want to escape, then go to the strip club. That's fine. Nobody gives a damn about you going to the strip club. We give a damn about you flashing that damn gun. Nigga talking about, I need to escape. Which I shouldn't have. I feel like that's the reason, you know, I made many, you know, bad decisions, you know, in my past, um, which doesn't describe Jai as a person. You know, I'm a totally different person, you know, than what's been shown, you know, in the media. For you at that moment, what were you thinking and whose gun were you holding? I was felt like, you know, I don't like these questions. Um, I feel like these questions are sort of self incriminating and incriminating excuse me um asking him whose weapon was it or was that actually your weapon um he's been in trouble so i don't know if the police are off his back yet but i don't think i would be asking them questions also i wouldn't be trying to go on no damn press tour either i feel like this is sort of corny you know i was releasing stress and i felt like it was healthy for me and, which it wasn't, and that caused me to do some things that you know, I shouldn't have. You know, the gun wasn't mine. Um, you know, I, it's not who I am. I don't condone and, you know, any type of violence, um, but I take you know, full responsibility you know, for my actions. I and mean, I can see uh, the image you know, that I, I painted you know, over myself you know, with my recent mistakes, but you know, in the future, um, I'm gonna show everybody who Ja really is. There was the incident allegedly after the Pacers game. And somebody was allegedly pointing a red dot at some of their personnel. Can you shed light and what happened after that game? Majority of the things, you know, that's happened in the past, obviously, you know, I kind of put myself into um, by even being there. You know, the NBA investigated, you know, everything thoroughly and, you know, found no evidence of uh, anything. And another incident that so they found no evidence, which is fine, which is good. Hopefully that's the case. Uh, hopefully Jabberant doesn't surround himself with those type of people. Uh, and by that I mean uh, people who will ruin his image, doing dumb shit uh, like that. Of course, you know, let's hope that that isn't the case, but... I just hope that he's 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 good, man. Cause he seems like a good guy. Um, he's a great basketball player. He's fun to watch. Um, so I just don't understand. 
I don't understand. Allegedly happened at the mall with your mom. What can you say about what happened with that situation? You know, I got a call. Um, I went to, you know, make sure my mom was safe. You know, that's my lifeline. You know, that's who birthed me. So um, I went to make sure she was safe. You know, once I realized that, you know, I left the scene. And then there's a situation that potentially happened with your sister surrounding a volleyball game. Can you shed some light into what took place in that scenario? That's my baby sister. You know, I received a call and, you know, was checking on her safety. Um, another situation where, you know, once I found out she was safe, you know, I left the scene. Obviously, I realized Josh showed up. And, you know, that's all everybody, you know, really needed to, you know, paint whatever, you know, picture they want. And um, I realized now that's a problem. And, you know, I put myself in, you know, those situations. What were you doing these last 10 days? And what did it teach you about yourself? Just learning, you know, I can open up. I can express my feelings and that it's, you know, okay to be able to express your feelings. So, you know, I was constantly, you know, talking to therapists. I've been doing, you know, Reiki treatment. Um, I've been doing anxiety breathing, you know, different stuff to, you know, help me manage that and release, you know, all that stuff from my body. What has it been like for you to see people criticize your inner? I'm going to be honest, bro. This looks so staged and so boring. I wish they would have got... Charles Barkley, I wish they would have got EJ, I wish they would have got anyone else to interview him, because I don't like how these questions are being asked, and I feel like there should be more. It sounds like he just gave him a damn report, you know, be like, so what happened here? And then he answers, okay, what happened here? And then he answers, what happens here? Like, I don't feel like we're really understanding what happened with John Morant. You know, it sounds like he's been going through some things. It sounds like that he has some anxiety issues or like whatever. Why not ask him about that? And yeah, you did ask him after after like three minutes of basically like confessing. <laughs> so it's just wild to me. I don't think this is necessary at all. I feel like it's just a money grab. I feel like it will be great for the network. I feel like it's, it's, it's going to get a lot of views, but I feel like it's sort of corny. Um, but I'm not going to end this video. I'll watch, I mean, um, in this video. But I'm going to go watch the full interview, maybe. Um, now I'm not so sure because this seems sort of stupid. Like, it's, it's 20 minutes. What else do we need to know? Um besides this four minute clip i don't know uh, but that's everything tell me what you guys think in the comments below peace